The year was 1985 when the Ninja ZX600A1 marked the beginning of the lightweight sport bike performance class. Over the years, the bike has evolved, sharpening its skills and fine-tuning its finesse. The Tourist Trophy star James Hillier went blasting across the Isle of Man TT on the ZX6R and that video still gives me goosebumps to this very day. The 600cc Super Sport segment had gone into hibernation ever since Triumph pulled the plug on the Daytona 675. Well, all of us had been hoping and praying for the 6R to set foot on Indian shores and lo and behold, Kawasaki who have literally redefined value for money and have taken the premium sport bike market by storm, now unleash their ultimate track weapon, the ZX6R. Faster, sharper, meaner and incredibly lightweight, this is the ultimate track weapon for all the hardcore super sport fanboys here in our nation. And today, I share my experience on board this absolutely firecracker of a machine with the iconic 636cc inline 4 symphony serving as the perfect background score. Now giving you guys a quick overview, the design is all new with the front reminding us of the Ninja 400 which was a huge turn off for me while seeing it in pictures but up front it feels a lot more aggressive and I feel it is a design that will grow on us with time. The twin LED headlamps look great and as you can see here they offer superb light spread at night while consuming lesser battery. Moving on to the profile, the fairing blends into the bike flawlessly and the body graphics further enhance the bike's overall aggressive look. The tail is sharp and sleek and the rear cowl offers a proper race peg bike look. The seat is neatly laid out and offers adequate space for the rider. A rear seat and pillion foot pegs are add-on accessories that are available at an extra cost. The clip-on handlebar is low set and the switchgear is of good quality. Build quality on this bike is top-notch. The speedo console offers all the relevant info and the display itself looks neatly laid out. Talking about the chassis, forming the sure foundation is a pressed aluminium perimeter frame with high performance geometry and lightweight construction which results in light and responsive handling thereby allowing the rider to change lines with pinpoint precision while conquering the chicanes on the race circuit. Talking about the suspension, up front we get 41mm upside down Showa big piston separate function forks that are fully adjustable and offer progressive damping. On the streets, this offers race ready performance with everyday usability while on the track it helps maintain front wheel traction while braking into the chicane and accelerating out. At the back we get a fully adjustable uni-track suspension with progressive damping which helps maintain rear wheel traction while putting all the power to the tarmac. Now this leads to confident braking and predictable handling both on and off the track. Now talking about the brakes we get dual 310mm pedal discs up front with radially mounted monoblock calipers and at the back we get a 220mm single disc both of which work perfectly in tandem to offer superb stopping power. Further adding on to this is the Kawasaki Intelligent Anti-Lock Braking System which ensures highly efficient braking with minimal intrusion during sport riding. We also get three levels of traction control with the option to switch it off completely. Please note that ABS cannot be switched off here but we can turn off traction control as well as the quick shifter. Yes, another feature is the inclusion of quick shifter which only works for upshifts. We get two power modes namely full and low and the bike does get a slipper clutch on board as well. We do get adjustable clutch and brake levers to adjust your finger reach as per your personal preference. Talking about the tires, we get Bridgestone Battleaxe tires, we get a 120 by 70 tire up front and a 180 by 55 tire at the back. Tank capacity is 17 liters which offers good tank range. Seat height is 830 mm which is pretty manageable for a person my size and I am 5 feet 7 inches tall. 
Talking about the areas of improvement, I would have preferred steel braided lines for the brakes instead of rubber lines. Along with this, a dual direction quick shifter would have kind of sealed the deal. Also, I would have preferred Brembo brakes when compared to Nissan just to make this proposition much more comprehensive. Now talking about the powertrain, powering the bike is the iconic 636cc inline 4 engine that puts out 130 PS of max power at 13,500 RPM and this goes up to 136 PS with ram air intake. Max torque is 70.8 Nm at 11,000 RPM and we get a 6 speed gearbox. Mileage wise there is no official claim as such but I am told we can expect anything close to 15 kmpl from this bike. Price X showroom Hyderabad for the ZX6R is rupees 10.49 lakhs which makes this bike an absolute steal. Now I guess it's time to go ahead and check out my first ride impression. are brilliant ah oh, this dual 310 mm petal discs up front from nissan are as good as it can get the brakes give you complete confidence for the kind of absolute lunacy this bike has an offer oh my god that's why the motorcycle journalists have just couldn't stop singing praises of this machine but from the moment they've gotten their hands on this bike I know why now because it's so perfect it's so damn perfect so agile changes directions still has a long way to go ah, what a machine oh my god can't get enough of it I'm gonna relish every moment of this machine yes the riding ergonomics are perfectly super sport don't come expecting a relaxed riding posture this is super aggressive with a low set clip on handlebars and ideally set rider foot pegs to lean forward tuck behind the windscreen and literally blast through the straights oh, what a bike what an outstanding bike man wow so not only is the power insane not only is the riding dynamics spot on but you also get all the bells and whistles we get separate function forks big piston forks from showa suspension that are fully adjustable 41 mm forks up front and uh, we also get a monoshock that's again fully adjustable and the brakes are 
absolutely bang on bang on the money and the best part about this bike <laughs> look at the quick shift of road and the best part is it's so lightweight and compact uh, on the spec sheet it reads 196 kgs but believe me it weighs maybe just i mean it feels as if it weighs just a little more than the rc390 or maybe the r3 or the ninja 300 it feels so damn light maybe the weight has been centralized so that you don't feel the weight and the balance is absolutely spot on coming but you just want to hit the red light each time you upshift that's how crazy powerful this bike is and look at its sound ah, I want more <laughs> wow all the enthusiasts would feel like you know at least I would feel like taking a beautiful woman out for a ballroom dance that's how beautifully agile and flickable this machine is and the sharpened front end make sure that the aerodynamics are perfectly sorted out so much so that you feel like an arrow that's cutting through air at the speed of light now i guess it's time for my standard braking test so let's take the bike <laughs> it's already flying actually that's the kind of motorcycle this is fourth gear and 70 uh, kind of 68 kilometers per hour and slam on the brakes oh the front is really aggressive i mean i can hear i can feel the front juddering up front so when you have this kind of crazy power uh, the bite has to be really intense so that's exactly what this bike has on offer really sharp braking but you have to watch before you go really hard on the brakes a gentle tap on the lever is enough for you to bring this bike little monster to a standstill i can remind myself of toothless from how to train your dragon movie it's a sweet little monster but it is incredibly powerful <laughs> that can take on even bigger dragons and yet come out victorious because it's so perfectly equipped so that's how beautiful this bike is that's how perfect this motorcycle is it's sweet compact lightweight agile nimble ticks all the right boxes <laughs> to make it a benchmark in the super sport segment and with no real competition around i'm sure this will become the darling of the enthusiasts we have adjustable clutch and brake levers the handlebar is perfectly positioned it's low slung to give you that proper aggressive super sport riding dynamics the foot pegs are ideally positioned the seat is perfectly cushioned it's not too soft not too, not too hard it has to be that way because even overly soft seats tend to give you a butt ache after long rides now this is not meant for a long ride for sure <laughs> but again it boils down to personal preference some of them prefer super sport machines and they are used to the super sport riding posture so that's the case uh, then maybe you guys can go ahead with that but for a layman uh, I'm not sure he, uh, he or she will feel comfortable riding this machine for long distances pure track machine with everything and anything that you can think of being thrown in by Kawasaki and uh, <laughs> the riding pleasure really scales up to a whole new level with this motorcycle the speed of console but the build quality undoubtedly is top notch is among the best in segment the suspension is perfectly sorted out trust me even i i came riding through the heart of the city into this place and uh, it is something that you can live with on a day-to-day -day basis it's not hard enough it's not too hard to break your back 
so that's another best thing in the stock setup and you always have the option to adjust it as per your preferences throttle response is just phenomenal <laughs> And then of course you have the slipper clutch which means you can do this faster downshifts in an instant without worrying about the rear wheel locking or hopping so that's pretty much it i just hope you enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed my journey of reviewing this absolute firecracker of a machine from kawasaki that redefines really perfection in the super sport category and raises the legend of 6R back to life or resurrects it back to life from its glorious ashes serving as the perfect tribute for this iconic legendary piece of art Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care. God bless and ride safe.